Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to do another in my series called I Forgot. It's where I revisit an eyeshadow palette that I haven't used in a long time because I've lost track of it. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for being subscribed. And the palette I thought, you know, I remember really liking that palette, but I haven't used it in more than a year was the Perception palette. So this is the collab with Shayla and ColourPop. I believe this was her, I don't know if this was her first or her second collab. This might've been her first. And then the Caution one came after. I don't know. It's been such a long time. This came out at least two, did it come out three years ago? I've complete, obviously I've completely lost track. But the reason that I picked this palette up is because it had um, some really beautiful warm colors here and then really neat, cool colors. And I believe this is one of the first palettes that came in cardboard packaging with a mirror, and I really loved that too. I always enjoy supporting people that I enjoy watching on YouTube when they do a collaboration, so I think the fact that I do like uh, Shayla is one of the reasons that I picked this up. But I got the rest of my face on today, and I thought that we would throw some of this on and See if it's still something that's going to work for me today. I'm going to pick up, uh, I have one of my Wayne Goss ones. This is the Wayne Goss 03. And I'm just gonna use the neutral matte brown that's in here. It's called Culture. I'm just gonna throw that in the crease. Forget how pretty color pop shadows can be. And this one, I really like the color combo in here, but I'm gonna try not to stick only to the warm side. Hold me to that, okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go into this deep brown here. There's another matte. This one's called Played Out. I think that when I first bought this palette, when it first came out, I wasn't wearing a lot of color, and this was me dipping my toe into the colorful eyeshadow world. And also, um, I knew that ColourPop was a great way, because they're so affordable, to, to kind of stretch myself outside of my regular comfort zone, where I could still, try something different without breaking the bank. I wouldn't have to spend $50 on a colorful eyeshadow palette going, am I really gonna use that or not? These blend really nicely. They're really nice shadows. So I'm recording this four days before my upcoming brain surgery. I have been so busy, like doing stuff that I normally wouldn't do my husband is busy, he took some days off. He has been intending for a couple of years now to paint the house. And he's like, I'm gonna do it this year. And so he started the project of painting the house and he's been busy outside. Um, and he's trying to get it done before we leave midweek. It's Monday today, we're supposed to leave at 6 a.m. on Wednesday. I need to go up to Seattle and um, have some tests done beforehand. And then <laughs> I need to uh, stay quarantined for the next day and a half. All my COVID tests done on Wednesday afternoon when we arrive and I'll have a CT done and then I have to go and like we rented a house. We didn't want to be in a hotel. We wanted to really keep our possibility of running into people really low. We're taking all the groceries that we need from the house to the home we're going to be staying in and um, we're just going to hunker down for a couple of days and then bright and early. The rental is an hour outside of Seattle. So my husband was like, I wanna be close, but not too close. I don't wanna be right in the middle of like where the highest rate of COVID is in our, in our state right now. So we do have a bit of a drive. It means I have to be on the road by 4.15 to be there by 5.30, my 5.30 check-in. I was like, really? You guys couldn't have had me like with a noon? It would have been a lot easier had they just decided that I could have had like the noon slot for the operating room <laughs> instead of like the seven o'clock slot. Ugh! So to be there an hour and a half beforehand, you know, IV, talk to the anesthesiologist. And, and I know the whole drill because this will be my 14th surgery. So I'm not really nervous. It's just, there's a lot to do. And I wouldn't really think it'd be a lot, but it's, you know, we're taking the dog with us. We're leaving the cat here. I need to um, have a friend come and change the cat box out. Um, I need someone to uh, water. We're gonna have one of our friend's kids come and water the garden for us and we'll pay them to do that. Um, and so we're just, you know, trying to take care of stuff and my husband's hoping to get the whole house painted. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but that's the goal. I wonder since this color is really dark and I did have a slightly tacky eyeshadow primer on, I feel like it's a little grabby over here. Are you seeing this where it looks like it's 
a little patchy and maybe if I used a smaller brush that was a little bit more pinpointed, I might be able to place the color and blend it. It could be tools and not the shadow. It's probably operator error. It's always operator error with me because over here it's not so bad, but over here there is still a little spot and I think it's because it stuck down to one spot and then I didn't blend appropriately. So I wanted to use one of these two shades here. This more olive green one is called IE and this one here is sassy. This really has kind of like that blue brown flip to it. I think I'm going to start just by tapping this over this darker section here. I like the idea of layering some of these more metallic shades over a darker color. And then I'm just going to go in with this olive green right here on the front half of the lid. These are both shades that I, I love the look of, but I don't use that often. I think I got too much on my hand and I have a little bit of fallout here, so I'm gonna try and not do the same thing on the other side. And then just right over where they join, just kind of tapping over those two shades. I'm also just gonna use a brush and see if I can, a little wispy brush here, and brush away some of the fallout that I have. I'm going into that first kind of light brown shade, and I'm just hitting the crease pretty hard with it. There's this shade right here. This is the lightest. It's a metallic shade. It's called Unbothered. I'm just going to plop that right here in my inner corner. I'm going to use a pencil brush in that warm brown shade. Kind of run it here under the eye. I'm going to take just the face powder that I'm using today. This is the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. And I'm just going to hit this right underneath the arch of the brow. I'm trying not to get it in my eyebrows fail um, because I, I feel like I need a little bit of a blend between that medium brown and my brow bone and I do need a little bit of a highlight but I don't want a shimmery one and there's not a light shade in this palette and a lot of times when I need a, a highlight I'll just use whatever powder I'm using that day. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that kind of metallic-y blue brown called Sassy and I'm just going to give myself a little bit of this here under the eye, right over that lighter brown that I put in earlier. I'm gonna throw some liner and mascara on and I'll be right back. I'm not getting rid of this palette. This palette is really beautiful. I think that it's nice that you have a bright metallic shade here. You have a couple of darker, deeper shades if you need something that's not a black, but still to add some depth. Here's what's interesting. When I open this again, I'm like, that kind of reminds me of the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. You've got a bright blue in there. You have some bronzy shades. You've got some olivey shades. You've got some really bright metallic shades. But this one here has a purple that the Metropolis palette doesn't. It has a red instead. There's only 16 shades here where there are 28 in the Metropolis palette. And this is a $129. And this is 27. So I feel like if you want a similar color story, I feel like this is going to give you that similar vibe without breaking the bank. And I know that ColourPop formulations are really well made and everything that I use in here, the five shades I use today, worked really well. So this, this one's not leaving my collection. I really like it. Um, and I normally wouldn't do such a dark eye like this. I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup recently and I just kept going and I couldn't stop. <laughs> you forget to that point where you're like, oh, just a little more, just a little more. That, that was me today. But I really think that it's a pretty look. I like it a lot. So there you go. Stay in, love it, recommend it. Let me know if you ever do this where you are going through your collection, you're like, wait, I haven't tried that product in a long time. Do I really still need it? Um, or it just kind of re-inspires you. Like this was one of those re-inspired moments where I pulled out a palette, a product that I hadn't used in probably over a year, and I was like, yes, you're so good. I need to use you more. There you go. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and being subscribed, and I'll see you again soon.